one of the bravest men you've ever known, Mikhail Panikaha. He was covered with fire because the bottle of kerosene exploded. So he was in the seconds from being dead, but he took another bottle and attacked an enemy tank with it and destroyed it. It was inspiring for all the other fighters. So it happens right here, at this exact place. If you like street food in uh, Volgograd, you should try I Cafe. We'll show it around a little bit later. And this one for Kotleta Pakievske. It's amazing. Volgograd is a very long city. Let's go. Uh, so it's more than 100 kilometers. It goes along the Volga River. So when you pick a place for living, don't forget to check the map because one of the most important things to take a look at is that the metro or train station is supposed to be somewhere nearby. There is the map here. So you can see the city is very long, not too wide. So and there is the stations across all the city and all the interesting things to take a look at, the memorials of the war fame. Stalingradskaya panorama is this way. Yeah, this is um, the original wall of uh, Pavlova house. It's well known for the heroic of the people who was protected from the German troops. They was fighting here for 58 days. And the citizens was the, on the ground level, uh, sub-level, I mean, over there. Uh, and they was like fighting every day and the Germans did not realize how they can get themselves like uh, ammunition, ammo, grenades, whatever. So the people was protecting it and doesn't give it up. The exact point where the war is turned to the other side, when the Soviet forces start to push the Germans back and uh, came up with a victory in the Great Patriotic War. That's the place where everything like the turning point was here. Uh, there is a, a Stalingradskaya Panorama Museum. You should definitely go there. I've been there and you know it's hard to keep yourself not crying because it's a very emotional place and uh, I cannot you know make any kind of jokes about it. It's very serious and very important for all the world and I wish everybody to have a peaceful sky above their heads but still we have to remember that the peace came with big casualties and uh, the Stalingradskaya Panorama is reminding us how big those casualties was. Finally, we reached here at Volgograd and first place for you to visit, not first for us, but we came here as soon as we can, is the Mamayev Kurgan where the homeland mother coal statue is located and uh, a few things for you to know. To get there like, on top of a hill, you have to make 200 uh, steps, uh, each step for one day uh, of battle, because the Stalingrad battle was uh, last for 200 days and it was like terrible like everything uh, I mean when we're talking about war but now let's talk a little bit about 
the statue that is hiding from you. So here we can see the man who is protecting his homeland. And that's the idea when you step a little bit on the right, you can see the homeland. So, uh, when you'll be here, try to make, I mean, the right route so you can feel it. Uh, how one man can protect uh, the giant country because it's his homeland. And a few words about the statue. It was in a Guinness Book of Records for a long period of time because it's uh, it was for some period of time it was the biggest, twice bigger than Statue of Liberty in New York and almost three times uh, bigger than uh, the Statue of Jesus Christ in New York, Rio. Here in Mamayev Kurgan, more than 30,000 people is buried and uh, it's a brotherhood graveyard. And uh, this is the Lake of Tears that was cried by all the mothers whose sons and husbands uh, go to the war and uh, did not return. Tragic place. Kurgan is a very important historical place because the battle here was the most fearsome and violent because this place is a height and it's in, in a strategic uh, in a strategic way it's a most available place for to have a opportunity to shot to you in any directions. It's hard, a little bit hard to be here to be honest and just, uh, okay, let's go. From, from this place you can see all the Volgograd, the Volga River, the stadium where the World Cup take place, some of the games was here, um, the church and, and uh, rainy clouds. Let's keep on walking. Aik, Bistro. So if you want to taste something local, taste those. Um, hamburgers and whatever you want. Not bad. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you about this place. This is the Alley of Heroes. It uh, starts from the uh, from the fire and goes straight uh, to the embankment with the fountain. But one of the heroes here is uh, this wonderful tree. The thing is that all the city was demolished by the bombs, and there was nothing left. And the, after the war, Soviet government said, "Let's let's just forget about the city." because it's too expensive to like make everything to repair everything it's easier to just build a new city but mr stalin said no this is a city of war fame then people was fighting for that and uh, this exact battle at least for soviet front was like the turning point as i was saying and this tree here on the alley of heroes is also is one of those what uh, it was here even before the war started so it's the only only tree in a city that survived the all these vicious battles which take place in Stalingrad that's why they put it in a frame and it's one of the heroes we are finally reach Volgograd as my viewers I highly recommend you stop Anka stop no there is a uh, 
um, to visit Volgograd. It's not only beautiful, but also very memorable and important city. And it could be a good stop on the way to Adler, to Astrakhan, where can you have some fishing, uh, or maybe the Baskunchak Lake. Oh, is there a Baskunchak? There is a title and a picture. It's also here nearby. So uh, now you know there is a few reasons for you to go to Volgograd and of course there is a thousand reasons for you to go to Russia. Uh, subscribe our channel, press the heart button, follow us and uh, I want to say great thanks uh, to Dmitry and Masha because they not only like invite us to their home and uh, but they also also spend uh, one day with us driving around showing everything here so we can make this guide for you and also the barbecue was amazing so thank you for everything